Hey everyone, my name is Darby and this is the DevOps for mobile apps update for March 4th, 2022. Um, on my screen here, I've got the update issue for this, uh, this week's update, uh, which I'll link in the description below on YouTube as well. Um, so for this week's update, we've got a couple different things to talk about. The first one is um, we're going to change the format for these updates for the next few weeks, um, calling it the uh, weekly sync update experiment. So what I'm going to do there is um, uh, schedule uh, sync time for um, for these updates, and um, I'm open up, opening up the calendar events and uh, putting the Zoom links out there for anyone that wants to join. So um, I've got an issue right here that you can check out um, and read more about it, leave your feedback in here. Um, and then I've also uh, got a table in here with the times and dates for the, the next few updates, along with a link to calendar or the Zoom. Um, and then I'll update the issue here um, after the, uh, the update's been recorded. So the idea here is to have some alternating times so that um, we can support folks in APAC and EMEA a little bit as well. Um, but the times listed here are in US Central, which is my time zone. Um, so that's uh, how we're going to do it. I'll still record those and I'll still publish them to YouTube just like I'm doing today. But, um, uh, but then uh, that will hopefully provide an opportunity for people to ask questions and provide any other uh, feedback or suggestions uh, in real time. So I uh, will see how that goes. And um, if we like it after a few weeks, we'll keep it. If not, we might uh, go back to, the, uh, to this format. So um, stay tuned on that. Uh, the next section here um, was a little research that I did this week that I wanted to, to just kind of document. Um, as I was kind of working through the review cycle on secure files, I decided to dig into the uh, device farm integration um, uh, opportunities that we have. So I kind of went through um, AWS device farm, Firebase test lab, browser stack, and sauce labs. And I, when I looked at those, I was trying to approach them from the uh, perspective of review apps, which is kind of a, a, a thing that I'd like to expand the, the functionality for, um, but also kind of just look at what other capabilities they had there. So, um, so I got this table here. Um, there's also an issue that I've linked here as well. So you can um, kind of add comments and I'll keep this up to date as, uh, as there are more, um, uh, more research gets done and stuff. Um, but essentially, uh, there's, there's several different like testing platforms that they support. Um, so we could look into integrating with those. Um, and then there's also a couple of them have these uh, kind of automated testing tools. So this would be either like um, fuzz testing or um, robo testing. Um, they they kind of have different names for them. But um, the idea being like, you can just drop your app in, in their system, and it'll just kind of run through it and test some things. It'll try to click on some buttons and, and links and stuff like that. So um, that, that's kind of a neat feature uh, for some of those platforms. Um, and then the last section down here I have is uh, interactive. So um, Firebase Test Lab didn't seem to have any interactive tools um, that I found, but uh, the other platforms did. Um, they're not as um, easy to integrate with as I was hoping. Um, so uh, most, for the most part, their APIs are fairly limited. Um, and there's not an uh, easy way to like link directly to an instance of an app. So I might, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna think about this a little bit more. I might do a little bit more investigation with AWS since um, their platform seems to have the most uh, robust APIs, but, um, but I think it might still be a little bit limited there. So a little bit more research to do, but, but that's kind of where it's at today. Um, but uh, there, is, there is some <clears throat> nice functionality and, and some of these do work really well. Um, and I guess maybe to, to clarify, this is um, specifically focused on uh, testing on an actual device and not an emulator or a simulator. Um, so that's, that's kind of the distinction between this and uh, a lot of the other tools that are out there. So um, that's the, uh, yeah, that's about it for the uh, research there. Um, and then the last thing I have is just um, the Secure Vials MVC. I've got this issue that I've been working through and um, continuing to kind of iterate on some of the, the ver various things that still need to be done. Um, and I've got a checklist here that I'm keeping up to date with everything. Um, a lot of uh, progress this week, um, kind of back and forth and iterations in, in, re in the review cycles, but um, nothing quite ready to show yet. So we'll keep working on that. Um, next week, main focus is gonna be continuing to, to push on that. Um, getting the new storage setting um, into GitLab.com 
Um, and then I'm going to work on the documentation and the secure files UI MVC is pretty close. And so I think I'll be able to get that merged next week too. So um, as always, uh, if you have any feedback or comments, please leave them in this issue. Uh, otherwise, I will see you next time. Thanks.